Today we're going to be covering the linear sketch pattern feature in SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to begin by creating an equilateral triangle that we can use as our linear sketch pattern. Here I'm creating a sketch with two lines that we will use as references for our direction. I'm going to give them an angle between them and the horizontal of 30 and 45 degrees respectively. Now I'm going to move this sketch before our equilateral triangle sketch so that we can use them as references. I'm going to create a center point for the center of this triangle. Now we can use the linear sketch pattern under the sketch tab in SOLIDWORKS. After we select the linear sketch pattern, we can see that on the left, we have a tab that describes how the linear sketch pattern is going to be used. You can see that we have direction one, direction two, and a box that says entities to pattern. Now I'm going to click in the entities to pattern box. By hovering my mouse over the triangle, you can see that the lines of the triangle turn orange. Once I click on the center, it will select all three lines to pattern shown as lines one, two, and three in the entities box. Since we have the x-axis selected 70 millimeters apart and only two entities. Now, if we press okay, the linear pattern feature will pattern the lines of the triangle 70 millimeters apart in the x-axis direction. Now we're going to change the selected direction of our linear pattern. By right-clicking on the x-axis in the Direction 1 box, we can now select a reference line from our earlier sketch as a direction. If we change our selected direction, the direction of the pattern will also change. Now that we can change the direction of the pattern, we're going to change the number of instances that are created. I'm going to replace the two in the instances box with five. Now we see that the linear pattern has patterned the triangle four times, creating a total of five triangles. Now that we have patterned in one direction, we will pattern our triangle in two. Under the direction two tab, I'm going to use the predefined y-axis and change the instance box from one, which will create no pattern, to five, which will pattern the entities four times. Direction 2 will pattern all the entities created from Direction 1. Now if we change Direction 1 to one of the lines in our reference sketch, the triangle will now be patterned four times in the first direction, and that pattern will then be patterned four times in the second direction. Now let's say we want a linear pattern, but we want to remove an individual triangle. To do this, scroll down the Linear Pattern tab and click the Instances to Skip box. This allows us to remove the pattern entities we do not want by clicking on the pink dots that represent the instances. Once the pink dot is clicked on, the pattern preview will disappear. This way we can create a linear pattern, but we can select which entities we want to include.